Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to Guild of Dungeoneering. Today, let's have a look what we're going to do. Um, last episode we lost Blindside 9, so we're going to need a Blindside 10 at some point through this, but we'll work that out, I think, later on. I want to try this Chimera dungeon again, and this is going to be a little bit um, risky because I want to take Ian through. Because I think he'll be a decent character who can deal some decent um, physical damage and he's got some decent um, upgrades already for him that will see him okay through this dungeon. So let's enter the dungeon. Okay so we've been through this one already, we know the, the tactics for it. Uh, however this time we don't have such a good path through. So if we put this one into here, we're going to need a monster here to force him that way. And I want to put a monster right here to stop him right in his tracks. Okay, this one's unblockable to start with. I think I'm going to use this one here, it blocks it and gives me a more powerful attack. Uh, and again with this one I think. And now I can't block it, but I can deal 3 damage to its 1. Really? A blood starved bat? Wow, okay. Ah oh, no no this this is this is this is quick. Ah ha ha Oh I I was really threatened then I thought I'd died. <laughs> so let's go for the fire blast here, I think. Now I want to come down this way, I think. I need to put some gold into this room, and I need to put another monster here. So now I can come off this way and put another monster behind and a hilly knoll into here. Okay, I need to remember that all of my physical attacks are quick. That's one of the main reasons why I brought this guy through here, so... I've got decay on this, this round as well, I need to remember that. He doesn't. I discard a card so I prefer to get rid of the higher damage card. Oh wow. Okay, this is quick. Thank goodness. But uh, all physical damage or quick ability has saved me probably in every single combat with this guy so far. So that's the one I want, the flame strike. Yep, that one will do. Gives me another heal as well. Okay, I'm not really able to come off any other rooms here. So I'm going to put the snake into here, he's the easiest fight. I'm going to put the worm into here, he's the hardest fight. And. I don't really want to put anything on there. So I suppose I'll put this one on there. I could have put. Oh, I should have put another monster in there. Oh well. Okay, let's get some more damage for the next round. <clears throat> Um, this one will be fine now. Oh no, it's not because that's unblockable. Oh. Well. 
Yeah, I think I'll be happy with that one. I'm going to deal the damage to it first, I think, because I want to get rid of one of these. And this is the better one. I don't want to discard this one. Three damage here on this one. Now I can beat it with this one. Here I think I'm going to go for the plus one heart and a repel. Okay I'll get one stupidity card but that's okay at this point. And now I need to put some more rooms in, so I'll put that one there and that one there. And put a monster in there I think, keep it away from me. See if I can get anything better this round. Let's put one room in. The owlbear there and the scorpion here. It's still quite far away from me. I just want a nice clean run through though. And I'm still getting my level 3 ones. So put another room in here. Another one in front. And because I've got a fight, I can afford to put another room in. I've got quite a lot of health now, so I should be much safer through this. Yeah, it got rid of my heal there. And this will kill it. I'm going to lose something no matter what, what I do here, but I think I'm willing to gain some healing for the loss of one maximum hit point. I think we're almost at the point now where we can start heading back towards him, but not quite yet. I'd like to get a weapon, so I need at least one more fight. And we'll start coming down this way. Okay, excellent. That got rid of the stupidity card. I've got enough cards to beat him now with that. This isn't going to kill me. I don't have any traits that would make me lose an extra heart. Because it is going to attack first rather than this one. So this should be fine. What? Come gather round and listen now to our hero's epic tale. Twas of an epic journey. <laughs> but also... An epic fail. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch back the footage from that. I'm not quite sure what happened. I think I might have missed something quite major there. Damn it, I really liked Ian as a character as well. I'm gonna have to get another ranger. Right. Blindside, the next ranger that comes up will be Blindside 10, and we'll try to take care of him a bit more than we have with the other blindsides. Um, we've had nine to just throw at, throw at different missions, but now the tent that I want to try and keep. So let's return, find out what we're going to do. We have Luna, Shapeshifter, I'm definitely going to keep that name. 
We can't actually do anything in the guild. So we'll head back out. Let's try this mission here. I want to keep Luna safe. So who should we take through? Let's have a look who we've got. One we haven't actually played with yet is the Barbarian. This is probably going to be a very physical damage round with the Beatin. This character is a very sacrifice one though. It, um, you deal damage and take damage. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So we'll go in. Aha, it is a chest run and Etin attacks in six rounds. So we need to get as powerful as we can in six rounds. So let's see what we can do. Let's first of all fight a Bloodstar Bat and then a Leggy Spider in there. Whipstand means that I can't die, I think. Yeah, you, you cannot be go below one heart this turn or the next. I'm going to deal two damage to it with this and deal one, one damage to myself. And then this one is unblockable, same as him, he'll die, I won't. This one gives me Tenacious. So if I get Withstand and Tenacious, that mean I can survive any combat for three rounds, which is pretty good. I'm going to put in this one here. Have a decent fight in that room. And that's all I really want to do. I might put this one in here. I should have put those in the other way around, really. So it's blocking physical damage here, but this is unblockable. And this guy's frail as well. So this one won't kill it, but it'll put it on one part. And then this one will kill it. There we go. Quite like the idea of the extra health here with this character. However, being able to refresh my health is quite huge on this. This gives me a nice heal. Now are four turns, one, two, three, and four. So we'll manage to get this before he attacks, which is brilliant. So it's just a matter of gearing up now. So if I put this in that room, we'll have a man-eating plant in there. And we'll put a room in there, why not? I quite like having this at the beginning of a fight, it gives me options, but it's not very useful at the beginning of a fight, so something which gives me a bigger hand size may be better, or maybe very useful for this character, so that I can have that in reserve within my hand. See, now it's very useful. Because I can use something like this and win. Going 
go for that because I'm not going to lose anything with it essentially. Okay, attacks in three turns, this is one and two. So I do actually have another fight somewhere I could put in, but I'm not too worried about that. Once I've got this room clear, I might put another monster in it. But I don't really want to go off in any other direction here. And now I've got a closed loop, I can't actually put any more rooms in. May as well actually gain back some health here, well, it's essentially a stalemate that round. I'm going to do free damage. So if I use the Mind Strike now, and then the Whip Stand next round, now if I use this one because I've got the Whip Stand. And I don't think I can win now, can I? Yep. Another hero, dead at last. Their future now is in the past. And all because their selfish pride was chasing fame and glory. <laughs> Okay, so that was the first time actually using the Barbarian there. There's obviously still a bit I've got to learn about about that character. Um, it's different because you're trying to like, work out when to deal yourself damage. And so you've got to take into account your cards and where your health is at. So it's a bit more of a, a, a complicated character to use. A bit more of the, the advanced characters. And the first one of any of these races or any of these classes I'm expecting to lose quite quickly so unfortunately we've had a run here of uh, two or three different characters that, that have died but as I say that is to be expected so uh, join me tomorrow where we will try hopefully not to kill anybody else <laughs> and here we have a new ranger called Blind Sai 10 actually I will do it Line size space turn. There we go. This is the maximum amount of characters you can have. So we will close. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe on the video and to the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.